I'm very interested in how people work and their work ethic and, and how they function in their studio. And I think a lot of people want to see that because art is a bit of a mystery for people. I've always loved to inspire kids. I do like to tell them my story and, and be in there and, and sort of help. I always have this uh, idea that I want to see a light bulb go on. That's I think really is what I want to see. I want to explain things simply enough to children and make them understand and make them as comfortable with art and the art making process and it's not a mystery, you know, you can be a really normal guy, you can be a firefighter. So Accidentally on Purpose is the name of the show. It's really about happy accidents in art. If a painting for me is, isn't successful, I feel it, you know, it doesn't work. And it started with Artists for Kids as a party favor. I cut up the canvas and gave them all pieces of the canvas and signed it back. A friend of mine who I gave one to, um, as a, she invited me to for dinner, here you go, and she framed it. As soon as she framed it, because it was really meant to be a coaster, it just took on a whole, like, wow, that actually works. That's really cool. And I never thought of framing these. Then I thought, well, I'm just going to start. The unintentional side or the accident side is I cut these canvases up, not worrying about any compositions. I just cut the canvas into 16 squares in a grid, stack them up like a deck of cards, and then go through them. And what comes is really fun because you're, you really don't know. I wouldn't have chosen that composition, but now that I see it, it's like, wow, that's actually, that works. A lot of my messages, I think, are unconscious. I don't often have a big narrative in my work. I think it, I want it to be fun. I want people to compare what did I take out, what, how did it morph into what it is. When people come in and see it, I hope it demystifies things. I hope they just aren't intimidated. Art is a funny thing. I mean, it, it's, it, there's no rules, and I mean, there are, because you want your paint to stay on the canvas, but ultimately, no, there's not a manual. Thank you.